Uh, dear chairmen, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Arman Erkan. I'm a colorectal surgery fellow at Advent Health. Uh, I would like to uh, thank Sages for giving me the opportunity to present our uh, video this afternoon. So I'm going to present a laparoscopic multiple service section for uh, local advanced uh, splank flexure cancer. Uh, we don't have any disclosures. Uh, so approximately 10% of all primary colon cancers have involvement of the adjacent organs and uh, best long-term outcomes uh, for these patients are achieved by R0 resection. Uh, traditionally, open approach has been employed for these uh, operations. However, laparoscopic approach can also achieve R0 resection rates and long-term uh, oncologic outcomes uh, are similar to open approach. So the patient is a 55-year-old gentleman who uh, presented with shortness of breath and fatigue. He was found to be anemic, and the subsequent colonoscopy showed the stricturing mass uh, in at splank flexure. Uh, adenocarcinoma was confirmed by biopsy, and the uh, preoperative staging CTs were uh, suspicious for uh, multiple uh, organ involvements involving the uh, tail of the pancreas and spleen, as shown here and also geratus fascia uh, was found to be suspicious on the preoperative CT. So following a discussion at the multidisciplinary tumor board, uh, upfront surgery was recommended, uh, and the laparoscopic splank flexure resection with m block disapancreatectomy splank to and small bowel resection was performed. So we usually begin with sub-IMV dissection. However, this wasn't, uh, we weren't able to see uh, the IMV at first. A small bowel loop was uh, adhered to the mass. So we decided to do uh, also a small bowel resection. The mesentery of the small bowel is uh, divided using the energy device as seen here. And the small bowel is uh, transected proximally and distally with a single fire of energy each. And subsequently, we were able to visualize the IMV. And then we cited our dissection below the IMV. We uh, developed the plane between the mesentery and the retroperitoneum uh, extending to the lateral abdominal wall. Uh, later, we uh, isolated uh, left uh, ascending uh, colic artery as shown here. Uh, also, the distal part of the IMV can be seen here. Both vessels were skeletonized, clipped separately and divided using the energy device. And later, the descending colon was separated from its lateral attachments to the uh, abdominal wall. Uh, this was carried out to the uh, splenic flexure, where we uh, performed a, a wide local excision of the peritoneum too to ensure uh, negative surgical margins. So as seen here, the small piece of peritoneum is involved in the specimen. And later we turned our attention back to IMV. It was also skeletonized at the border of the inferior border of the pancreas and uh, clipped and divided. And then uh, we started uh, taking down the uh, transverse mesocolon of the anterior surface of the pancreas. Uh, we started medially and proceeded towards the tail of the pancreas. Uh, however, at this juncture, uh, the pancreas was uh, found to be uh, stuck on the mass and not easily separable. Therefore, we uh, decided to proceed with a distal pancreatectomy and splenectomy as uh, suspected uh, with the preoperative staging CTs. So the left branch of the, the middle colic uh, were dissected as seen here. And then divided using clips and energy device again. Uh, and after this, the omentum was taken down, uh, taken uh, off the stomach, distal to the gastroepiplate arcade, uh, all the way up to the spleen. and the omentum again was taken off the colon. So the proximal colon was, uh, proximal transaction point was also skeletonized. 
and the transverse column was divided also proximally with a single fire of endo GIA. Uh, subsequently, we started to dissect the body of the pancreas of the retroperitoneum. The splenic vessels uh, are seen here. Both splenic uh, vein and artery uh, were skeletonized separately and divided with the use of a Ganclips and energy device. The vein is clipped here and the artery is right behind it. And following this, the body of the pancreas was completely uh, separated from the retroperitoneum and divided with the and the GAA. So lastly, the Gervatas fascia uh, was also found to be adhered to the mass, so it was taken off the anterior uh, surface of the left kidney. And this was the final step that's gonna free up our specimen. And finally, uh, after the specimen was completely free, uh, a midline incision was uh, made and the specimen was exteriorized, uh, stapled side-to-side uh, -side small bowel anastomosis and the hand-sewn end-to-end uh, col colostomy were performed. Uh, the patient had, a, had an animal, uh, uneventful uh, recovery and was discharged home on post of day five. The final pathology was a an eight centimeter T4B and to uh, adenocarcinoma uh, of the colon. Uh, the patient uh, with uh, f the direct involvement of pancreas, spleen, and small bowel, the patient had six months of uh, chemotherapy subsequently, and then uh, is currently one year out of surgery without any evidence of recurrence. Again, I would like to thank on behalf of the co-authors.